idiomatic expressions, tracing their origins and unraveling their mysteries. Hello language enthusiasts! Today, we dive into the intriguing world of idiomatic expressions. This episode is a part of our advanced vocabulary series and aims to bring you a deep understanding of idiomatic expressions, specifically focusing on their origins and history. Let's get started. First, let's clarify what we mean by idiomatic expressions. An idiomatic expression is a phrase or an expression whose meaning cannot be understood from the ordinary meanings of the words in it. They have a figurative meaning, which is different from the literal meaning. Examples include, kick the bucket, bite the bullet, or break a leg. Idiomatic expressions are the soul of any language. They give color, flavor, and depth to the language. They allow speakers to express complex ideas, emotions, and nuances in a compact and imaginative way. They are also cultural expressions that can tell us a lot about the society, history, and values of the people who use them. The origins of idiomatic expressions are fascinating, as they often spring from the life experiences, customs, and histories of the people who use them. For example, the idiom, barking up the wrong tree, comes from the old practice of hunting with dogs. If a dog was barking at the base of a tree, it was assumed the prey was in the tree. If the dog was barking at the wrong tree, the prey was somewhere else, hence the idiom's meaning of pursuing a mistaken or misguided line of thought. Another idiom, bite the bullet, has military origins. It is said to have come from the practice of having soldiers bite on a bullet during surgery to help them endure the pain. Hence it means to face a difficult situation courageously. Just like language, idiomatic expressions evolve over time. Some idioms that were once commonly used may fall out of use and be forgotten, while others may adapt and change to fit new societal contexts. For example, the idiom, dial the number, which comes from the time when telephones had dials, is now rarely used due to the advent of modern touchscreen phones. But we still use the term, hang up, the phone, even though phones no longer have a physical receiver to hang up. Understanding the origins and history of idiomatic expressions can give us a unique insight into the culture, history, and values of the people who use them. They are a reminder of how much language is a living, breathing entity that constantly evolves and adapts to the changing times. We hope this video has helped deepen your understanding and appreciation of idiomatic expressions. Keep exploring, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video.